For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use Touch.io and Vector.io to create a triangle drawing tool. So, this is the continuing series of me building uh, my own version of Illustrator that runs on a Pi portal, basically. Uh, and it's just little pieces at a time. Last week we looked at a rectangle tool. This week we're going to look at actually a bit of a simpler one. I should probably have done this one first. This is how you draw a triangle. Uh, so, first of all, let's just do a demo. You can see, uh, I'll, I'll uh, focus, I'll refocus this a little bit and try to get the glare off of there. There we go. Uh, that focus, that looks pretty good. So you can see here, I've got three little dots on the screen there, a red, a green, and a blue dot. And when I tap, I'm setting down one, two, and three vertices, which then create a triangle. So each time I go in, I'm just gonna restart. I'm just gonna draw a new triangle, so I'm not collecting a bunch of them right now, just one at a time. Uh, but wherever I place these points, those become the vertices or, or edge points or uh, uh, line points of the triangle. And the way this works in CircuitPython, you can see I'm importing vector IO that does the heavy lifting. I'm also using display IO in concert with that and Adafruit touch screen. So we set up the board and we set up uh, a few colors that we're gonna use. And then I'm just placing those points there even to begin with, we can see them at the edge of the screen. Those are three little circles, that'll be my vertices. And then I'm creating this list here called my points, which is this uh, tuple of these three little sets of points, so just a little sliver at the beginning. And then I'm using Vector.io Polygon to create a triangle. So I have my triangle equals Vector.io Polygon. What's the color and what's the list of points in this case? It's just these beginning points. And then I put these into the main group with append, and then I'm gonna show that group. Uh, then we initialize the touch screen, and I'm setting up three little variables here for storing points. So as you can see, very similar to uh, the circle and the rectangle that we've done in the past. In the main loop, I check for a tap on the screen, and then we take that info, and if the point one variable was set to none, it's empty, that means this is the first point I'm drawing, then I'm gonna cast that to point, I'm gonna move the old stuff out of the way, and then I'm gonna draw the first point. So first point, I just change its X and Y values to wherever I've just touched with the, uh, touched on the screen. Uh, then that uh, next point becomes available, point two, and we do the same thing. We draw that point and point three, but this time, since we've got a third point, we can put the triangle back into the origin point of zero, 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 since I was moving that off the screen before, and then recreate the triangle or polygon with point zero uh, XY, or rather point one XY, point two XY, and point three XY, and then we just, uh, clear out those state variables. And so that is how you can create a triangle drawing tool inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.